Hello, citizens of the green planet. This is Andrew coming to you live from Max Yield, Vancouver, 2016. Uh, here to talk about a couple different products, but we're going to start with something called the Turpinator. Uh, Turpinator has been out for a couple years, so I'm sure quite a few of you are familiar with it at this point. Um, essentially, it's a product out there. What it does is it's going to increase the amount of terpenes that your plants produce. Every single strain that you're going to be growing is going to have its own unique terpene profile. It always shows up in the same ratio, same terpenes if it's a stabilized strain. But the big thing about this, this is going to actually increase the amount. They're not going to produce any extra terpenes. It's not going to mess with the ratios. It's just going to increase them. Terpenes are responsible for all smells, all flavors. They're also the precursors towards the active compounds we're looking for in our plants. So needless to say, this is important. One thing I would really like to talk about with Terpenator is if you look at the label, um, I get this all the time there's a big variance in kind of dosage rates. So I'd like to go over what we've kind of perfected is what we call our sweet spot where you're kind of getting to get the most uh, bang for your buck, if you will. So on here it says to run it all the way through veg. Um, if you run it for about 10 days before you flip into flower, what you're doing is you're basically working into the plant cellular system. And so when you make work it into the system, it's gonna be a vet there available for your plants as you flip into flower. What we found is it physically produces more gland sites. So if you run it kind of light, eight, 10 milliliters a gallon or so, um, about you know, eight, 10 days before you flip into flower, that's what you're doing, you're kind of working it in. When you start going into flower, what I usually recommend is bumping up to like 15, 20 milliliters or so per gallon uh, for weeks one, two, three. When you get to weeks four, five, six, spike it on up to uh, 25, 30 milliliters per gallon, run it pretty hard, um, maybe bump it back down to 20. And I personally cut it out for the last week of, uh, last week of flush. A lot of people like to run it all the way through. It's kind of up to personal preference for you on that one. If you do run it through flush, um, there's nothing in here that's gonna be harmful for you or anything like that. And a lot of people really do like it. So um, glad to be out here, glad to talk to you guys. Always feel free to contact us if you have any product questions, anything of that nature. And uh, thanks for your time, guys. I really appreciate it.